There are growing questions still about why Central Texas is so prone to flash flooding and uh, specifically what can be done to better prepare for that. Joining us now is Dr. Adnan Rajiv, a civil engineer professor at the University of Texas at Arlington and an expert in flood risk and water infrastructure. Uh, thanks so much for being with us here this afternoon. Could you uh, kind of walk people through real quickly why the hill country is especially vulnerable to flash flooding? Sure. Uh, first of all, Carville is not new to mega floods. Uh, in the past 25 years, uh, the river in Carville reached close to uh, moderate to major flood stage at least seven times. Mm. So there is a unique combination of factors. Uh, aside from the storm itself, the steep terrain and the floodplain structure uh, are the two major drivers. Mm -hmm. uh, the elevation difference, for instance, uh, in Carville and, and, and in the vicinity, mm, the, the elevation difference between the riverbed and the highest point is as high as 1,500 feet. Mm. Um, also, the abundance of limestone uh, keeps the water from soaking into the ground. Um, however, our data gave us a really critical discovery we found that floodplain itself is being developed by human settlements uh, from 1990s up until 2020, uh, that Guadalupe River uh, near Carville lost more than 100 acres of natural floodplain. Yeah. Uh, so the river is losing its space for water and no surprise, uh, July 4th flood was so fast and furious. Uh, let me ask you this, too. Uh, we have a condensed time schedule here just because our newscast has been condensed because we've been listening to that uh, news conference, that update. But I want to ask you, going ahead here, you know, there's been so much talk about there should have been systems in place, there should have been more warning, et cetera. What infrastructure changes or investments do you think the communities and the state need to be considering there to reduce the risk of these disasters in the future? Uh, easy answer. We need to embrace newer data and newer technologies. Uh, we have new satellites that that uh, observes the water movement uh, from space, and we have um, AI and advanced models. So we need to embrace these technologies to improve our predictions. At the same time, we need to protect our floodplains from uh, human disturbances. Doing one and overlooking the other will not work in the long run. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of decisions that have to be made uh, going forward, but certainly no one ever wants to see a repeat of something like this. Uh, Dr. Adnan Rajib with the University of Texas at Arlington, thanks so much for being with us today. We really appreciate your expertise.